We have got a lot to get to in this second half hour, but we are continuing this conversation about when you should and shouldn't wear masks. If the parents do not want those children wearing masks, then they shouldn't be required by the government to wear a mask. It's just that simple. Well, that was Governor McMaster speaking out against mask wearing in schools during an interview yesterday. Those comments have stirred up a lot of conversation, but what decision about what decisions should be made inside your child's school? News 19's Kaylin Hagwood spoke to education leaders and has more. From virtual school to hybrid learning and now back face to face, it's been a year of constant change for districts working to protect students and the community from the spread of the coronavirus. The face mask has been a key component to safety, but is it time to put the mask away? Governor Henry McMaster argues yes. Now that the teachers have all had an opportunity and the staff to get vaccinated, now that we have so many people that have developed immunity, I think it is, it is, it is ridiculous for a school district to be requiring children to wear the masks unless the parents of those children want them to wear a mask. But state leaders are pushing back, saying masks should stay at least through the end of the school year. In separate statements to News 19, both the State Department of Education and the Department of Health and Environmental Control say safety guidance like mask wearing is needed to slow the spread of the virus. We're making good progress, DHEC's director said, and starting to see infection rates drop. But we're also still seeing a percent positivity rate around 5 percent, and that's concerning. That means there's still a lot of disease transmission. The Education Department said we would advise districts to continue to follow these guidelines, and if the governor feels that they're no longer needed, he has the power to issue an executive order directing districts to abandon them. Whatever is necessary, I'd be willing to help them understand what is good for the state of South Carolina. The governor has not decided to move on that executive order. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. The South Carolina School Board Association is responding to McMaster's comments on ending mask ordinances. The association says they're working with school officials and local school boards to adhere to frequently changing health and safety guidance issued by federal and state authorities. They go on to say that as they as a new school year approaches, they will acknowledge that guidelines will change and masks may not be required in the classroom. But until then, they will follow recommendations of health experts regarding the safety of students and staff. Shortly after the CDC released its updated mask guidance, Kershaw County School District announced it will be modifying its mask protocol for activities outside only. In a released statement saying, in part, effective immediately, wearing a face mask is optional when persons are outdoors on school property. The district says it will continue to update school protocols to ensure everyone's safety. So this is